Australian avocado production is worth nearly a billion dollars and almost two thirds of Australia's avos come from Queensland. Sadly, pests and diseases causes huge loss in crop production. 20 to 40% of the world's crops are lost each year and this impacts everyone, from farmers to consumers. As a plant pathologist, I protect Australia's avocados by designing molecular tests which can detect disease-causing microorganisms called pathogens. Pathogens include fungi, bacteria and viruses. Similar to when people get sick, the doctor might send a blood sample to a pathology lab to detect disease-causing viruses in the blood. Well, growers send their plant samples to our plant pathology lab for detection and I invent these tests. By identifying unique gene sequences in the pathogen, I can design precise and sensitive pathology tests for fast detection in plant tissue. I'm also investigating beetle pests which bore into avocado tree branches. The beetles carry fungal pathogens which causes branch death and I want to discover what fungal species are causing disease. It's a growing problem in Queensland and has an effect on fruit production. My work also involves monitoring overseas pest and disease threats to Australia and all of this helps to prepare for potential harm to our industry. We need more women leading STEM fields and this is why I actively promote women in STEM. It's why I present at avocado industry workshops and scientific conferences, why I coordinate plant science seminars, promote science at high school career days and step in front of a camera to be a face of women in science in the media. I want to inspire girls to be leaders in science and I want to help create a safe and inclusive workplace environment. So I volunteer to help make this happen. Imagine if the answers to plant disease were trapped in the mind of a girl who thought science was just for boys.